10 websites that every developer should follow. These are the ones that I personally subscribe to, and they're the ones that have helped me learn and grow as a developer over a number of years. I still check them out regularly every day to keep up with what's happening in the scene. Now, I'm going to jump straight into it, but if you guys don't know who I am, I'm Adrian from Australia. I do videos around design and development, so hit like, hit subscribe, and let's just jump straight into it. Before we get started, I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek into something I've been working on in the background. Enhance UI is a book that I'm working on to help design for developers. It won't make you a graphics designer, but it will give you the understanding of how to pick colors, how to do basic UI, and just make sure that your next website or app looks good. So check it out in the description below. Our first item on our list here is Dev.2. Now, just so you guys know, I will link all of these in the description below, but this one is just as the name describes. Dev.2 is a website for developers, and there's a number of cool things in here. The articles and feed are generated based on the hashtags that you follow. But on top of this, they're also randomized to an extent that you'll always see something new on the homepage. You can, of course, check out what's trending over the week as well as the month and the year. But really, I jump on here and get to learn something new every single day. The articles are posted and are focused on essentially developers trying to learn something new. Most of the content comes with code and examples, so whether you're going in to learn Redux or React, or even if you just want to learn a new thing like maybe hooks, you can do so right here. They've got a number of other cool things here too. You can do listings, for example, and you can find jobs here. You can also check out some of the trending news, as well as even get some cool merchandise as well. I've posted hundreds of articles on here, and there's a great community with comments as well. It's similar to Reddit, but a lot more supportive, I think. It's worth checking out, and if you haven't heard of it before, just visit Dev.2 when you have a chance, and I'm sure you'll love it. Our next website on this list, number two, is IndieHacker.com. This is a website by developers for developers. And its focus is on talking about the journey that developers go to when they create their own companies or products or freelance or try to create something successful. These are stories of both failures and successes and everything is transparent, which is really cool. You get to see the numbers and statistics behind people that launch their own products. Things like the numbers of how many people visited, maybe how many people bought their product and even how much money they made. I really like the interviews and podcasts that they do. People like Alex from TechCrunch can give you his wisdom and experience over the years and lessons learned. Or for example, you might learn how to make 20, no, $200,000 a month selling cookies with Sam. These are all interesting and fun topics to learn about, and you as a developer can get inspired to create your own. This next one we all know and love, it's stackoverflow.com. And while I know that a lot of people might not directly follow it, a lot of us do end up here. Whenever I'm searching for a problem, like even just trying to do something on regex, which is annoying as hell. I always seem to end up finding the answer I'm looking for right here. And the solution might be from all the way back in 2013 or something like that. And yet it's a great resource. I know they're also working on the community to make sure that it gets better. And it's just a great website. So every developer I'm sure ends up here at one point or another. Our fourth item here is DevDocs. DevDocs.io is a website that is really for documentation and looking up the syntax and manuals and references for different front-end languages and libraries. They have everything that you might want to know in here. Stuff like, for example, beginner's guides, advanced topics for, um, say, HTML or JavaScript or Angular or jQuery or Backbone.js. All of these are on here with examples and code and descriptions of how every one of these work. You can also search up everything from say React to how to use React hooks. And these guides are nice and simple to follow with code examples too. So it's a place that I've just kept as a little bookmark for myself whenever I'm looking out maybe how to do that Redux function or for example, how to put in that hook that I might not have for a long time. Our sixth item on this list is Hashnode. 
Hashnode.com is a newer website, much newer than some of the other ones we've heard of so far. But their focus is more about providing news and options for people like developers like us to essentially blog on here and share useful information. And let's take a quick look at some of the topics on here. There's things like nobody should be working for eight hours a day, or six tools I use for web development, or even this one here by Catalan Pitt that says about how to contribute to an open source project as a beginner. Now, there's a huge variety on here, but this is really useful stuff. Simply knowing how to contribute to an open source project really helps out new developers, whereas some of these other articles on, say, tools to use for web development can help out those people that might be developers for a long time, but they just haven't heard of some of these useful tools before. This is also a place where you can write up your own blogs and get started, and that's something I might do as well in the future on this site. Medium.com is our seventh entry in this list. It's a website which I've always enjoyed for the high quality level of content they produce. There's also a variety of content on here, not just for developers, but for designers, for people interested in JavaScript or React and even just general development as well. If we scroll through here, some of the article names are pretty cool. I like this one here for seven development tools to make your work that little bit easier. If we check it out, it's got cool topics here, like for example, a good password manager so that you can log into all your things at the same time or an SQL playground or SQL formatter, all of these things that we might use as a developer that we sometimes do the hard way. There's little cool tips and tricks in here on how to just do it a little bit faster and easier. Even regex, I'm sure we all love or hate regex, but understanding it is like understanding a new language. And this little calculator here already seems to do half of the automation for creating those little uh, regular expressions for me, which is something that I'm definitely gonna have to bookmark right this instant. Now, there's probably no way I could have done this video without mentioning GitHub as one of those top 10 websites. GitHub is, yes, just a code repository, but it's turning into so much more. There are some really cool GitHub repositories on here for just information. Things like free resources for developers or designers, things like compilations of the best tutorials, and so much more. Even just being able to follow some of the people that go on here and star great GitHub repositories and checking those out is always fun too and something that I always like to do when I've got a bit of spare time. Our ninth item, and it's a website that I've started recommending to people to visit, is called Glassdoor. It's a website that doesn't just post on the different types of job positions you might be able to apply for, but also gives you anonymous reviews of different companies and people who actually work there. They'll tell you about the interview process and what they went through so that you'll know what to expect if you're going in it yourself. They'll also give you maybe an estimate of what kind of money they were earning there. They can tell you how long they worked at there and what type of maybe values and morals each one of the companies had. And it gives you a better indication when you're going to apply for a position. This is really cool because sometimes transparency is hard to find and this place just gives you a bit more insight into where you might be working in the future. And I probably couldn't have finished this video without at least mentioning Reddit one time. It's our 10th item on our list and it's a massive one, simply because there are so many different subreddits that are existing on here for development. There is obviously WebDev with over half a million members with lots of really cool posts all the time. But there's also other useful ones too. There's web dev tutorials. And here you'll find tutorials on all sorts of things. For example, web development in 2019. We also have things like learning HTML or CSS or JavaScript and lots more as well. We also have ones here for say front end if you're learning how to do CSS or HTML in general, as well as other subreddits that you might find like learn programming, which is also a really good and useful one if you're starting out. All of these really combine to a place where you can share and talk to the community to get your knowledge for web dev. And as a developer, this is a place that I visit almost every single day. We have one last item here, a bonus website, which didn't make our top 10 list, but definitely deserves a mention. It's actually a Chrome extension and it's for developers. 
What it does is provide you developer news every single time you open up a new tab. Here is a compilation of all sorts of news, things from Dev.2 or Medium or even The Verge. You can really compile or list whatever you want to see on here. And this is a simple extension to simply click to install and start using. That way you can be up to date with the latest news that's happening all in one place. It's definitely worth checking out and I'll link this in the description as well. These are just the top 10 websites that I follow as a developer, but I'm sure you guys have your own. I'd love to hear what they are, so leave them in the comments below and I'll definitely be checking those out. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.